Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pups here, welcome back to another brand new GTA video. Today's video, we are actually going to be going over a huge update regarding this GTA voice actor. Again, he was supposed to be in Grand Theft Auto 6, he put it on his resume and so much more. But we have a follow-up to this whole story, so again, if you're ready for today's video, follow along with me and let's get right into today's video. So yes, guys, if you haven't seen my previous video regarding, you know, this story of what not, again, just a little rundown. He, this guy is, you know, related somehow with, you know, huge TV shows. Again, he's not a guy that was should really be in video games. That's why if this is really legit, he's probably going to be a side character, not a main character. But anyways, he, on actors, actresses, uh, their resume, he had Grand Theft Auto 6 in the resume and also posted on Twitter that, you know, this is a huge announcement. He, you know, is so ready to be in this Grand Theft Auto game. Well, just like a day or two later, maybe even three days later, if you go into his resume right now, he has removed Grand Theft Auto 6 on his resume which i think is really very funny and according to this playstation insider again we covered him on the channel before his name is roberto sanro it looks like he is really in the know um he said on twitter too he said guy a4 confirms in presence of gta6 Bio, new Grand Theft Auto game in the works at Rockstar, and he also celebrates the Rockstar Games information about the title development, hashtag GTA VI, hashtag GTA 6. So it looks like I didn't cover this in my uh, previous video about, you know, this whole guy for it, but it looks like he actually put it on his Facebook page too. So that is like three big main sources, resume, Facebook, Twitter, I don't know about if he's you know, really in the Instagram at all that he has publishes about GTA 6. So you're probably wondering why did he actually take it off his resume and all his socials? Well, probably more than likely Rockstar did contact him about this if he's really going to be in the game. Again, we're not sure about that because they did not, you know, announce like a teaser trailer or anything like that or confirmation about the game. He's under just a closed agreement right now, so again, he cannot really be saying that he's in this game right now, even though Rockstar has confirmed it's in development, and I think that's why he ended up saying that he's going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6, because of Rockstar saying, okay, this game's in development, he thought, okay, it is in go-ahead that I can now, you know, do this, and such like that, but again, it doesn't work like that way in the gaming community. And about a, you know, when we should see a first glimpse of a trailer or an idea, someone said to Tez Funds 2 if he knows anything about a trailer, and he said this on the GTA forum site, I don't. My post was both an educated guess and based on an inside butt bit that Rexer's internal deadline months ago was or still is a fall 2023 release, Rockstar announces a new major title the year before the planned deadline. GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 had their debut trailer revealed a few days after announcement. If we are lucky, we could see the trailer this month, but Rockstar lately has only been making announcements prior to Take 2 earnings call. Safe to say we could expect more updates in May. So again, a lot to dive into. Again, some liable information that Tez Funds 2 has there. Basically, what he was hearing is Rockstar wanted to sort of bring this game out like a deadline of fall of 2023 just two years away and if they are still on that deadline again we got to put COVID in effect sure this deadline again I'm sorry for bringing up COVID so many times in my videos but again you do have to do what you got to do but again that is that but what are you saying is they've been bringing out good information like trailers stuff like that prior to take two earnings call so let's say uh, Take Two just had their earnings call like about a couple weeks ago. Rockstar announced this community update right before the call. So, again, their next earnings call, I think that's quarter four, if I'm right, 
they should bring information about either GTA 6 or some kind of project because it's been enhanced edition of the game will already be out prior like a day or two before the earnings call does arrive you know you talk about shareholders and stuff like that again you guys know the drill so we have to just stay put I think we're just gonna have to wait till May and see if we hear anything otherwise so again guys if you did enjoy today's video a like rating would be super awesome remember to subscribe to the GTA Puzzle channel for more videos like this again my name is Pup here and I will see you guys in the next video peace out